Good morning, everybody. We are heading into San Antonio today to do all the touristy things. Uh, we were told the river walk is a must see. So we're gonna do a little boat tour and cruise around and see the sights a little bit. Yeah. You. So we're in San Antonio and you know, everything really is bigger in Texas. Check this out. So I was really excited for the giant cowboy boots, but Melissa on the other hand, not so much, even though she's, she's the country one. So it's not that I'm not excited about the cowboy boots, I'm just way more excited for the wooden nickel. It's a wooden pickle. Hey babe, hmm. I carved you a wooden nickel. Ooh. Not a wooden pickle, a wooden nickel. <laughs> it's so crazy what certain cities are famous for. This is like, I think the world's largest wooden nickel. I guess. And then there's some buffaloes, cause like buffalo nickels, you know? You know, I consider my wife one of the smartest people I know, but she just told me that she doesn't know what a buffalo nickel is. What the hell? She was calling these buffalo over here, bisons, which are. is probably correct, yeah. but we found out that she does not know what a buffalo nickel is. Ay, ay, ay. What the hell is a buffalo nickel? Were you ever a child? You never got like a little buffalo nickel with a little arrowhead? I don't know. Ay, ay, ay. Downtown San Antonio. There's quite a bit to do here today. And there's some sort of festival going on, so there's traffic everywhere, but we are going to check out the river walk, probably the Alamo, because you know it's famous and it's cool. And then there's a few other things. Should be a pretty nice day. We're walking on the river walk in San Antonio. It's pretty cool, I guess. It's pretty cool. What does Melissa think? I think it's pretty cool. It's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. We're gonna go on a boat. I'm on a boat! I'm on a boat! I'm on a boat! Take a good hard look at the boat. It's not too crowded. Everybody says it's very, very crowded. This street's really cool too. I really wanted to show you guys the Alamo, but you're not allowed to do professional filming and photography in this area, so you guys aren't gonna see anything. You're not a professional. It's unfortunate. Can you mean look at this smooth movement? Action! Action! here checking out the Alamo which is very cool we feel like failures because we forgot to do our homework guys we didn't watch the movie before we came so didn't read any web pages no 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 no, no 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 we didn't watch the movie so tonight we're gonna have to go watch the movie we'll take this all in and then we'll watch the movie to get the real information of what really happened <laughs> I find it very strange that the original Alamo had a gift shop. Weird. Hey! Hey! Oh! Oh! Just had some Tex-Mex. It was pretty delicious. 
Melissa well, needed to mix it up. I was down to get barbecue again, but she said she needed something different. It was pretty good, and we didn't realize, but apparently there is like the largest parade in the country is going on in town tonight for Fiesta. Uh, it's like a lighted night parade, so we're gonna have to check it out. We just came across this uh, Fiesta. Uh, Fiesta San Antonio, and today happens to be the uh, largest illuminated light parade in the country. It's a pretty big deal. It's pretty big. Yeah, streets pretty are lined with people. Big. witnessed the largest light fiesta parade in the United States or maybe the world I'm not sure it's so cool that we keep just randomly coming across these super cool events that you know a lot of people probably came a long distance to see that was awesome and that's a wrap for San Antonio We are walking and we are talking. We are heading south to the Gulf of Mexico. Corpus Christi to be exact. Corpus Christi to be exact. Probably camp on the beach and then who knows where, I don't know. Nice morning here in Tejas. Got my coffee. Got my lovely wife. Hello. We're talking about this whole full time adventure that we're doing. We just want everyone to know that it's possible for anyone to do it. If you want to do it, there's just, you know, you just got to start somewhere. So what we've been hearing and seeing and kind of what we experienced ourselves to a degree was the fact that, you know, a lot of people get uh, hung up on figuring out which rig they want. Just get something that is going to get you out on the road. We used to camp all the time, so we were used to camping. So when we got into our fifth wheel, we were like, oh my God, there's so much space. Start with a lot of camping, you know, do weekend trips, go on week-long trips, mm -hmm. and then, you know, if you think it's something you want to do, it's one of those steps that makes it easier to go full-time. You know, if you decide you want to go full-time, then it's just a matter of getting rid of stuff, which is probably the scariest part, getting rid of stuff and, like, committing to full-time, but it's also the most freeing. When you actually do go full-time, it's really weird in the beginning, but then, you know, you get into your routine just like you had at home. And I would say one of the biggest things I noticed was that I don't want to buy stuff anymore. And I think that it starts because you're like, well, we don't have room for it. So you're like, I don't want to buy it. I don't want to buy this because we don't have room for it or whatever. But then the excitement of whatever you bought kind of wears off pretty quickly. And then you're looking for the next thing. That's the truth right there. Like when we were going through our house, we found so many things where you're like, oh, I forgot that I had this. Hmm. And then you paid a good amount of money for it and then you sell it at a garage sale for like $5 just because like I haven't used it in six months. Like why am I hanging on to this? You know, we kind of did, if it, if it fits, it ships. And we brought way too much crap. 